inspiration for Fall 2011 is really contemporary artist Gerhard Richter and his use of photorealism in his paintings where he would do these very hazy, obscured images. It's something that we really try to achieve in, do, in several different techniques of using kind of veiled fabrics, ombre, you know, dip dyed, that you kind of see this haziness evolve. So we're here today just prepping the skin of the models before they go into hair and makeup. This is the Clarisonic, which is excellent for removing dead skin, removing six times more makeup than manual cleansing alone. Dip it in the water, because it's waterproof. Add a little bit of cleanser. And just lightly, the brush will have a sonic movement to cleanse and exfoliate prep her skin before makeup. Clarisonic, I've started using it at home and it's been great. I've loved kind of the way it cleanses your skin. I just think it makes everyone look a little bit fresher and younger skin. I think it's been fabulous. And this is the opal from Clarisonic. It's got a botanical serum. Just press and release. The serum is right on the tip. There's a button that you press stimulates the eye area. Time for 30 seconds each eye. This can be used twice a day in the morning and the evening. It's great for fine lines, minimizing wrinkles. And now she's prepped for her makeup application. Her skin's looking beautiful. Well, the makeup, you know, really took kind of cue from what we did with the collection. What we really wanted was a dark lip, but something that would mimic one of the colors in the collection, which is this deep kind of aubergine color. This look is very glamorous, very sexy. The makeup is kind of a sultry siren, and it's about a powerful lip. The key with doing a dark lip for fall, you have to moisturize your lips. That is number one, because you don't want to have any dryness. You want a really kind of a moist mouth. The lip is a combination of Daring Longwear Lip Color, and I've mixed a bit of brown smudge pot from Stila to create that perfect, dense, like vintage Merlot lip. And I'm mixing it before I put it on the lip. This way you're gonna really get the perfect shade. I wanted to do for Lila Rose just kind of a burst of coral right on that kind of high plane of the cheekbone. We're using a new product that we're launching for fall. Um, it's self-adjusting corals. This color will work on every single model. We're gonna pop it a little higher than the traditional like apple of the cheek, um, just kind of right through here. Okay. The eye is a really kind of dreamy, hazy eye. What I love about it, we're using a mix of mattes just to kind of clean up the eye and then also a little bit of a shimmer. So you can use Kitten eyeshadow, one of our classic Stila shades. Take it all over the lid. So this is the matte first and then now a little bit of shimmer. We're gonna use this wet, so just kind of dust like it. A little water. <laughs> and then we're gonna take it into the Kitten right through here. So it's inside the well and right at that lash line. And then now for under the eye, we're gonna take a color called Eden. We're gonna take this all under her lower lash line, quite heavy and quite thick, but it ties into that whole rosiness on that lip. And just build your lashes. The best way to build a fluffy full lash is apply your second coat immediately after your first coat so it's still wet and you can just build that thickness. You just wanna brush up the brow. Just sex, natural, full, beautiful brow for a little last minute kind of sexy flare. I love to take a liquid all over shimmer. Um, you can use this anywhere, face, body, but we're using it really in the inner well of the eye. Um, it's one of my favorite tricks that I do um, on the red carpet. The woman who wears this lip, she really believes in herself and she's confident. And it's perfect for Leela's collection and, and I'm happy to be here with Stila, mpd.com. So we chose Billionaire, which is a color that Deborah Lipman has done in her collection, which is just gorgeous. It also mimics another color in the collection. We've done all these deep greens, and I think these deep tones with this kind of haziness all around is really a stunning combination.
So this is a brand new color that Deborah Lippman has created. It's called Billionaire. Our manicures here, Lena, is putting it on. And it's gonna be two coats because that's how you get the true color of the effect of the really rich green and the creaminess. Lena chose this because she wanted something earthy. She wanted something that felt spiritual in the, in the sense that it was part of nature. The, the best way to keep your nail polish on the longest is to put one coat of base coat, wait two minutes because there are solvents that need to evaporate off nail color before the next color goes on. So you really have to wait the two minutes. You know, if you're doing um, a quick dry, the same thing, just wait two minutes. The patience in the beginning will save you a long time at the end.